this lab is determining the molecular weight of carbon dioxide. So what you're going to do is at a known barometric pressure, that's a known air pressure, in a known temperature, you're going to create a known volume of carbon dioxide and measure its mass. From that, in the behavior of gases, we can find out what the mass of one mole of carbon dioxide is. So this is the glassware you need. The first thing is this thistle funnel and a 90 degree bend both through a rubber stopper. This assembly you'll get already assembled. Don't try to change it in any way. Don't try to move the tubing or anything like that. Just leave it exactly as it's assembled. Nothing gets changed. Uh, trying to change where the tubing is in the stopper is a really good way to stab yourself with broken glass. We don't want that. You need a 500 milliliter Florence flask. So Florence flask is a round bottom flask. That's, that's a round flask. Uh, so a Florence flask is a round flask that's flat on the bottom, so it can stand upright. A 250 milliliter Florence flask. Some pieces of tubing. This is kind of gross tubing, not very clean, but it'll work. A stopper that fits the small Florence flask. A drying tube. We're going to use a U-tube that has two stoppers in it. And several clamps to hold everything securely. Now let's try to set it up the way it's shown in the illustration. Next we get to assemble it, which we're going to try to set it up pretty much like it is in the diagram, except that our drying tube is a U-tube instead of a straight tube. So I'm going to set the glassware up now, but I'm not necessarily going to leave it where it is. I'm going to sometimes take some of the pieces out and do something with them and put them back. But first I just want to make sure that I've got all the clamps and everything in the right place so that everything is where it needs to be. So first I need a clamp for the 500 milliliter flask. This is the flask that we're going to generate the carbon dioxide in. I want it a little bit off the ground. So that ought to be good. And I'll tighten this flap, tighten the clamp. So that holds it nice and securely. And the thistle tube, the thistle funnel is going to go in there. And leave that there for the moment. Next, for the drying tube, I'll need a clamp for that. So I'll have that in the middle. Tighten that down. So I'm going to use a piece of flexible plastic tubing to connect the output from the generating funnel, the, the generating flask, into the drying tube. And the gas is going to go through the drying tube and then out into the receiving flask. So I'll need a clamp for the receiving flask as well. receiving flask has its own stopper. And as we'll learn, this stopper uh, in the receiving flask should never be tight. It should be a jar. And for that, I will use a piece of wire, actually, uh, just to make sure that there is always a gap between the stopper and the flask opening itself. Then I'm going to connect the tubing from the output from the gas generator tube to the input to the drying tube, and then from the output from the drying tube to the input to the gas collection tube, the gas collection to the input to the gas collection flask. 
when it comes to connecting the glass tubing with plastic tubing, what I find works really well is to moisten the glass tubing on the outside just a little bit where you want the connection. That lubricates it just slightly. We don't want to have water in the collection tube itself, but that lubricates it a little bit. And you can put it on very gently. You do not want to force it because, of course, glass breaks easily. So, moisten. And make sure that the plastic tubing isn't uh, putting any strain on the glass tubing, because the glass tubing is a weak spot. And we can do the same thing for the receiving flask. So that goes on nicely. And this as well. Okay, that looks like a pretty good setup. Uh, we're going to have to change some things around a little bit, um, fill some things up. So we're going to need to put desiccant calcium chloride in this tube. We're going to put calcium carbonate in the Florence flask with some water. And then we'll add hydrochloric acid, that's hydrogen chloride solution, uh, through the thistle funnel. And that will drop into the calcium carbonate solid, which will then, in a double replacement reaction followed by a decomposition reaction, produce carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide that's produced will come out this tube and then go into the drying tube. It will go through the calcium chloride, which will take the water vapor out. The water vapor will stick to the calcium chloride so that the carbon dioxide that comes out the drying tube is not going to have water vapor in it. And that carbon dioxide will go into the flask. The reason that this is kept loose and not tight is so that carbon dioxide comes in and the air can exit. And eventually we're going to try, we're going to put much, much more carbon dioxide into the receiving flask than can be held in the receiving flask. So we'll make sure that we'll drive all the air out. Part of the reason this is going to work is that carbon dioxide is denser than air. So as the carbon dioxide sinks to the bottom, it will push the air out the top. But we're going to push a lot of carbon dioxide through to make sure that there's no air left. 